All right, welcome back to video five. F Stop House host Ron here. I uh, want to go through a short video on special drinks. Uh, and I will tell you right now, uh, there's really only one special drink, and uh, that is going to be involving this frothing pitcher and this milk frother. Uh, there's various combinations of that, but what I want you to understand is that the two special drinks under this button labeled special drinks are simply hot water using uh, this port and, and the hot water device. Uh, and the other choice here for uh, special drinks on the machine is a baby cappuccino, which is just a cappuccino in a smaller glass. I haven't even got those size glasses and I haven't calibrated uh, this for uh, a baby cappuccino for any particular size glass. So just avoid that. If you want hot water, I suppose you could go to the trouble of in, inserting this in the port and uh, you, you know using it to get hot water. But there's much easier methods here. So I just wouldn't even go there. However, there is, uh, if you notice this button right here, it says milk froth. That we can use for a special drink or two. And this machine right here we can use. This machine, as you can see in there, it's filled with water right now and uh, it's got a minimum and a max line, fill line for the liquid. You need to pay attention to that because if, if you underfill it, it'll freewheel and if you overfill it, it'll probably come over the edges once it starts frothing up. There are three settings here on this. The first setting gives you is a red light and that's for heat and frothing. Uh, however, if you push this twice, it gives you uh, a white light, and that is for heat, but slow frothing. This, is, this middle setting here is specifically for doing hot cocoa. If you put milk in here and, uh, and some uh, hot chocolate powder, this will make a wonderful hot chocolate without making it too frothy. If you do the full-blown um, fast froth setting with hot chocolate and milk, it, it'll just put way too much air in the hot chocolate. And then, and then the third setting here, pushing three times in a row, is going to give you a blue light, and that's for cold frothing uh, milk. So if you wanted um, to froth up some milk cold for some reason, like if you were doing a hot cough, I mean a cold... Uh, you know, a nitro type drink with a cold froth on top or something, you could do that. So I'm going to get this going with a, with a full speed hot uh, frothing going on. And you'll notice over here I have some matcha green tea. So I'm going to show you how to do a matcha latte. The, the, the green tea container is, is here uh, and you're welcome to use that. Uh, actually, it's smarter if I turn this off. Sorry, turn this off and... Uh, add the tea, and then get it going. And it will uh, start whipping that up and incorporating the matcha tea into the water, and then it'll heat the water up at the same time. So the, while that's going, that's great. Uh, the machine is already turned on, uh, and what we're going to want to do here is get a milk froth. So to do that, we're going to use our milk pitcher here, or carafe, Remember, you always need to extend this arm out on this thing. And gently and carefully put it in place so that it latches at the bottom. Then, then uh, you know, for, uh, for a, a latte, most people want a little bit of uh, sweetness in it. So you can put a little pump in the tea. And you can also put a little pump here in the, uh, in the cup so that the milk froth is sweetened. Put this in place uh, so that it's over the frothing arm. And then all you have to do here is push milk froth. None of this strength, uh, coffee bean, all of that is relevant if you're just choosing milk froth. All it's going to do is deliver a uh, half a glass of froth. Uh, while it's working on that, you can see it's coming up to speed. You can see that the green tea is uh, finished. It's hot, it's nice and foamy, and it's ready to go. So once uh, this machine delivers the, 
the milk froth and we're just going to incorporate the green tea into it and we'll be good to go. You'll also notice here that once this completes uh, the froth delivery, the milk delivery, this machine always asks you if you want to do a quick clean. I show you this time, I've missed it every time. It asks you that for about five seconds. So you can see right there it says quick clean. So if you want, the answer there is always yes. Put this in place if you can and then hit that check mark. It's going to ask you to confirm that you've got everything ready to go and then you hit it again. And then it's going to do its little mini clean cycle. That's basically just putting hot water through the plumbing in this um, milk pitcher. Once it runs through that, you can see it got rid of a little bit of milk there. Once it does that, this thing is ready to go back in the fridge for next time. Now, here we have our sweetened uh, milk froth. And here we have our green tea. And all we have to do for the matcha latte here is incorporate the two together. This generally comes out just about right if you fill it to the minimum line. And uh, there we go with our, oh, sorry. Uh, there we go with our matcha latte. Uh, in addition to the matcha latte, of course, you could just do uh, regular tea using either the the pitcher here or to heat the water here. You can pour yourself a cup of tea. You can do the three kinds of coffee that this machine makes. You can do the matcha latte. You can do a hot chocolate. Uh, you know, if you're creative, you can do mochas as well and ca caramel flavored drinks however you want. So I hope you enjoy the machine. Uh, I'm going to do one final video. Uh, that video will just be uh, a couple, uh, two, two minute video with a few last minute notes and tips. Uh, thanks again for uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoy the coffee machine and the house in general. And as always, don't hesitate to call me if you've got questions about anything. Take care.